Okay, so what we got here is um, two cheap solar panels on the left, which uh, oh, don't quote me on this, but I think I think they're rated at 15 watts a piece. But between you and me, they're pretty shitty. And then the other two, the small ones, are good ones, and they're uh, 10 watts. So in theory, you got oh maybe 30 40 maybe 50 watts of solar panels there's not really as much as it looks like and then the blue box on the right is a cheap ass shunt based uh, 7 amp solar charge controller uh, running into a 1 farad micro capacitor or uh, 4 1 farad capacitor that's rated at 16 volts to a surge of 20 volts so the solar charge controller makes sure that you don't blow up the audio capacitor and then from there it goes into a 12 volt outlet into an inverter and then the guitar amplifier plugs into that inverter and converts that um, 110 all the way up to 400 volts so you start off with 20 volts you end up with 400 volts and uh, it's part of the reason why the conversion factor is not all that great because it's class A amplifier so it uses a way lot more power than it puts out anyway it sounds cool because you got a tube amp and there's no batteries in the setup so anyways I'll show you how it goes here So now I'll give you a little tour of the area. So here's the amp. It's rated at 5 watts. It's a tube amp. So you can see that's... I guess you can't see. There's a transformer in there. But you can see that it's tubes. So you know that's for around 400 volts or something. You need a transformer to step up. And here's the little blue box that I used to use for batteries, but now all there is in it is an audio capacitor, some fusing, and a cigarette outlet to a standard inverter, a little charge controller up in there, and you got your panels ganged up over there. And here's my tomato plants. Check these babies out. This is what I normally use. This solar panel here. I just usually, when I'm not doing anything else with it, I connect it up to these guys. And that runs that little fan. Keeps them circulating. One of the reasons why I wanted to show you this is. Variety of plant. Look at that. 49 days to harvest. And they're doing just great. I mean, I'm in Canada, so I mean, I'm not exactly in a southern climate here at all. You know, I got little tomatoes on there already. 